After crash landing on a planet you aren't destined for, protocol kicks in and you successfully establish a colony despite the ship's wreckage. Humanity now has a new chance of survival. After a number of years of careful nurture, prosperity and harmony is found as your colonists grow up. Until one night, alien shrieks and screams cut through the air. A figure appears through the blizzard, bloody, staggering, hurt and afraid. All peace is lost. Your colonists are in danger and you are their last chance of survival. You are the last defender. In the last defender, there's that sweet combo of survival, strategy, defense with shooter elements. You can play alone or as a group of four and you're thrown into this hostile alien environment. And you'll all have to go through this stage of survival, salvaging what you can, going out into the woods to gather materials. It'd be really interesting to see how things play out here with danger lurking out there. Will you be able to hide out and build up a bit? Are these creatures going to be able to attack from the get-go? If you can survive is another story. These things, they are relentless. They come back stronger in uh, some pretty insane ways. Learning from your weaknesses, they adapt. This uh, this this game's artwork is is insane. That's one thing I want to say. These uh, these illustrations are really cool. But uh, the thing I'm most interested in is the AI in this game. So this is a quite simple little representation of uh, of what they have going on, showing the swarms of enemies adapting to the structures. Uh, it's kind of realizing or um, recreating more of the enemies that are dealing the most damage. Uh, there's loads of technical stuff going on there. So uh, let's have a quick look at building the swarm and numbers game. Having a little flick through here, you can see when they first sat down to discuss the last defender, there were some challenges. AI that can adapt and having it all perform, having it all on the screen at once. If you want to come back to this, I'm going to leave it all linked down below, but do bear with me. Attack of the polygons. When running a game, both the CPU and GPU are working very hard, and that's why it sounds like a plane has taken off in your room. Thousands of moving objects. Ridiculous amounts of data and uh, they wanted to find a way to make it all happen and evidently they did yeah that's a lot it doesn't stop there they proved that they could do it but they wanted to scale it um, or have optimization scaling so players it can suit players performance so yeah they uh they obviously they're very dedicated means a lot to them and uh, they've worked very hard and done a good job. A new world exploration survival and defense game that uses a genetic algorithm. So yeah, they're having babies. Let's have a quick look at the Steam store page. I will leave this link down below if you want to wishlist this on Steam. But I want to know more about the AI. Heading on to their website, you'll be presented with all this amazing comic book style Ah, uh, in the blog post here, they have, uh, this one in particular is, is, a, is a good read. Darwin, an evolutionary AI. It's their first title, mashing up survival, defense, and strategy, and uh, they wanted to make it replayable. These are gamers that, you know, they played the games like The Forest and stuff, and although these games, there's nothing wrong with them, they... They become a bit predictable. I mean, look at Ark Survival Evolved, where you stand on a rock and stab a dinosaur in the head, and you can't do anything. Imagine if that uh, dinosaur gained the ability to to jump a little higher, and it, you know, 
you're not going to be doing that anymore. It's going to it's going to change the game. The enemies in Last Defender are fielded by a special commander. AI that doesn't cheat, doesn't look at your base defenses and make decisions. It simply breeds the best performing soldiers so their children carry the same traits that go on to make the future attacks. You can think of the enemy waves as generations of these children, their direction of attack, and, and type as traits and performance as time survived or damage done as an enemy launches its attack. Some of uh, it's really interesting how, how they've done this because you could entwine so much more of this natural selection kind of thing within the game. So you can give them different weapons, you can give them different, uh, I don't know, you can throw all kinds of stuff in there. So it'd be really interesting to see how it all plays out. And there's uh, all the technical details here. If you want to come back and have a look at all of this, there is some, some good writing in there. Darwin AI, like many things in software, has uh, edit pool parameters and uh, they keep some of it secret because people do like to, to cheat in video games. But uh, yeah, it's all quite technical. I don't have a clue how any of it works, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it play. I'm, um, I'm just a gamer and uh, like, like these guys were, I assume. Um, so yeah, it's really cool to see all this coming together, and uh, I'm excited to see what's coming. I was just scoping around their social media and I saw that bit of artwork, it was pretty cool, but um, they're quite active on there, but there's, I didn't see anything new. Having a look at their Kickstarter, which has come to an end, um, there's some information in here that we haven't seen. There's mention of traps, there's resource gathering, crafting. So, uh, yeah, quite a lot of things going on there. We also have progression, uh, more difficult battles and waving counters, your defenses. I really like the, the style of the, the game as well, the, that kind of cartoony kind of edge to it. Uh, loads of information in here. But yeah, it's all about blueprints, research, resource, sort of stuff we see in these uh, these survival games, base defense games, and uh, it's nice to see someone doing things a little different. I do like my survival games. See, I'm uh, I was quite big in Ark Survival Evolved. I was part of one of the the Alpha tribes. Um, here we have Colonists Command. Your colonists are in fight with you are available for commanding so they can operate turrets and heavy machinery weapons whatever um which is cool so you'll have to they can they've got progression you see at the bottom as well the better they get at it so people kind of take roles um which is pretty cool loads of stuff in there Uh, they've also got this section here, the concept, uh, how with how they came up with the idea, and uh, as you can see, they do uh, mention a couple of games here, World War Z, um, their inspirations, and uh, how it all came together, and uh, these are the early plans and amazing artwork as always so uh, I did find in uh, one of their updates they have this screen uh, the UI the visual the visual design the infantry infantry management system and uh, a little storyboard that's been worked on these can take a lot of time um, just as the the soundtracks and everything else uh, so it all seems to be coming together nicely, but good things take time. Uh, lots of uh, lots of time has been put into this, so if you like what you see, do check it out. I'll leave the links to everything down below. Um, I'm going to leave this soundtrack of theirs with some artwork and bits that I've pieced together, uh, rather than drag it out. So thanks for dropping by. Do let me know what you think of this one. 
and uh, I'll see you on another one. Peace out. <laughs>